So we're doing another ceiling mural today, only nine feet by seven feet. But the thing I wanna start this video about is plastic. Now this is a, an exclusive home, and even if it weren't, you need to cover things. So talk about liability, right? We, I did a video recently on liability for the wallpaper hanger. Uh, when you're in a home uh, that's this exclusive, you and I both know we need to do everything we can to protect the homeowner from <clears throat> lack of due diligence. Even if dust were to get under there, we've done due diligence and that's what's required. Don't be a cowboy and start um, sanding and risking dust getting all over here. Homeowner sees dust on their chairs, you, you're in trouble, you're in trouble. But rather than uh, just cover these areas. You know, with the airflow, air pressure will bring dust against this plastic, and you see it with the plastic moving when the air comes on. But what I'm going to do is cause a drape right around the immediate work area. So, I mean, let me try to go low so you can see where I'm at. I'm on a scaffold here, all the way up in the air, and this is our ceiling. And you'll see it later on in the video when I show you the wall covering on the ceiling. But what I'm doing is causing a drape right around the immediate work area. So any dust will fall right down. Spencer, what dust are you talking about? Well, this is a unique tray ceiling. I couldn't get my, my tool into these areas. So what I did was I took the mud, this was all textured. So I took the mud and I rubbed it in there with my finger. I was losing time trying to get my six inch and eight inch knives in these angles. So what I did was I put it in like this and now I got to sand that. And so it's going to cause minimal dust, but it's still going to cause dust. And so with this drape, you're going to see plastic. It's sticky on the opposite side. So I can just drape it all the way down to the floor. So now you can see what I mean. We've, we've I'm on a scaffold here. And what are the chances of anything escaping this? And so I'm protecting the homeowner. I'm also protecting my business, right? And, and my name online. So I, I simply urge you to do the same thing if you, if you can, you know? So now what I'm trying to make you realize is that if you're a professional installer, yeah, you, your price has to include this professional approach the scaffold, the plastic, the time to wrap this all around. This is time consuming, okay? And you may be disinclined to do it and just say, well, you know, a little dust. No, 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 never poo poo a little dust. There's no such thing as a little dust. There's a lot of dust. Uh, a lot of dust is just a, enough to write your name on somebody's furniture. That's, that's a lot. Nobody wants to see it. Take the time, go through the trouble, and charge accordingly. Very important point, charge accordingly. <clears throat> because when you make a mess, even if you do a great job, you're gonna be known for the dust you left on people's furniture. Okay. Yes. Thank <laughs> you. 
just use it to prime over this plaster. What are you using, Spencer? I know many of you are wondering, but I don't see any comments yet down below asking me what am I using. <laughs> folks, if you don't you know, have that on video, I do. If you don't have push pins, folks, you're going to drive yourself absolutely insane. Now, we're taking a break all the way up here because our push pins are doing their job. Do not try to do this without push pins. Who taught me this? Do you think I came up with this idea myself? No, a veteran taught me this. And I share it with you. And I'll bet when you did your first ceiling, it kept falling on you. Don't let that happen to you. After we get the mural into the general area where it's supposed to be, we take the weight off by trimming the excess. That weight will pull down your mural. It's unnecessary weight, so please take it off. You can do. Okay. So. We're clearing a space so that we can overlap this. Right down that cloud. Okay, now we can overlap it and we can do a splice because We need to. Did they see that, Larry? Yeah. Did they see the perfection coming about in this? In this very, very tricky, folks. Can they see me in the in the thing? This is extremely tricky. But if you think it doesn't have to match up, it can't. Then you figure it out really easily. Can't match. It's we're going in an obtuse angle, coming off of straight angles here, off of the ceiling, and then obviously it has to <clears throat> overlap and slice it. You may even have to get out an artist brush, but no one's ever going to be able to tell. Lately, I've been singing in my videos, and um, people are not appreciating my singing ability, so I'm going to stop singing. It is a little annoying when you go out of your way to sing for your viewers, and they, they don't say, oh, I like your voice, or I don't like your voice. Either way, just acknowledge my singing. I'm just kidding. Just playing with you. Okay, so. Oh. Where are we gonna put this? Let's put it back in the bucket. Now. See what's in the bottle too. We gotta make sure we don't cover the light. Okay. Now, 
Would you please go behind me? You're blocking the light. Now, when you're hanging a wall, you cut your corners, yeah. You cut your corners here too. Why wouldn't you? The answer is yes, of course. Slice your hand right open. Now, we're on a ceiling. Can anybody tell me the benefits of cutting this corner and not worrying about seeing the cut? Tell you right now, the benefit is if I were to overlap this seam and leave it overlapped from below, do you think you're going to see the seam if I overlap this piece onto that? It would be impossible to see it. Unless you were 13 and a half feet tall. In which case, I think we could all agree, isn't going to happen. I love when my viewers leave me questions. No. They first give me... <clears throat> This big compliment. Oh, I love your videos. You're so, you're so good. Okay. Then they give me this question that requires like 10, 15 minutes of research. I get it. I get it. I fall for it too. But believe me, I do get it. Oh, Spencer, your videos are so great. Can you tell me where to get this, where to get that? How do I do this? How do I do that? Wait a second, let's go back to how great I am. Okay, okay. Okay, so, hey. Okay, okay, hold on here. This is coming down. Oh, jeez. Get big push pins, you may wind up putting it right through your thumb. That's a thumb tack. Uh, is it? If it goes through your thumb. Oh, jeez. We got a comedian here. <laughs> you know, a comedian would have said it's a good thing you're not a moyo. A moyo. <laughs> I, have, I think I know what that is. Okay. All right. Yep. If you spent any time in Brooklyn, you know what a moyo I do is. know. I saw it on YouTube, too. <laughs> What is we'll, it? We'll talk, no, 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 don't ask him. We'll talk about it. I want to know. No, 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 I'm loyal. No, no, no. We'll, I'll show you. It's a, it's a rabbi, right? Well, yes, he is a rabbi, but he performed a certain... Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know exactly what you're talking about. I saw that. I saw it, Jared. We got to definitely edit that. <clears throat> She's looking good, girl. She's looking mighty fine now. All right, so far, Larry, perfection. We got to do this on every one of these walls. I'm gonna shut this off. Okay. Now this is our corner. 
Remember, it's obtuse. You can't really see it great in the camera. So up here, we don't have much of an overlap, but down here we do. And we can do a fake out by getting rid of these sharp, this sharp line. See, that's our seam. But we can cut around this flower to make this less dramatic and make it blend more easily. So that's what I'll do. As you enjoy the beauty of this magnificent mural, let me talk to you about some of the considerations that come into play with such an installation. I could not 
video the details of the installation, except for a few. So I'll discuss them as you look at this beauty. Now, when something so beautiful comes out right, the installer gets all the credit. But I can assure you, when something like this doesn't turn out right, the installer gets all the blame as well. So we're forever trying to reduce liabilities as wallpaper installers. So the first consideration is, number one, do you have a platform on which to make your installation? Ladders are not going to do it. If you did not have the resources to have a scaffold, then certainly you would need a telescopic plank to put in between two ladders. But that gets very dangerous because your real estate below your feet runs out, if you know what I mean. Secondly, do you have a helper? You need a helper because you cannot do this alone. In fact, I would suggest to anybody doing uh, a ceiling mural to have three people present for the job. Furthermore, you need large push pins. I'm not talking about the little thumbtacks. Okay. I mean the large ones that are the size of a U.S. nickel. After that, you need to consider the time you have with the paste on the wall covering. You don't want to run out of time and install that half dry. Other than that, a water spritzing bottle and you're good to go. Enjoy this beauty and leave any questions below that you may have concerning the installation.